Uh, airlines are rushing to restore normal flight operations in the UK and repatriate stranded passengers after the worst air traffic outage in a decade led to hundreds of delays, cancellations on one of the busiest days this travel season. And British Airways and EasyJet PLC told passengers due to fly on Tuesday that they shouldn't travel to the airport without checking the status of their flight as it may be delayed or canceled. Both carriers were also offering those due to depart Monday or Tuesday free changes to flights to a later date with EasyJet also offering refunds. London Heathrow showed 78 delayed flights and 32 cancellations on Tuesday according to Flight Radar 24 that compares with more than 170 AX flights on Monday. Uh, Gatwick Airport, the second major vice hub in London, suffered 23 cancellations on Tuesday. The data show uh, even as the systems were restored at UK airspace manager uh, Nats uh, returning to normal service could take several days because aircraft will be put out of position. Uh, the glitch just on Monday coincided with one of the most active extended travel weekends uh, with the UK off on a national holiday and summer vacation travelers returning home. Uh, and a 1955 right way to bring a breakdown in 10 minute fighting again 1955 and this right is out night of a harder that is both the violent first all and you know 790 flights leaving UK supports on Monday were canceled equivalent to about 27 percent of all departures and almost the same amount of incoming flights were axed according to aviation analytics firm Sirium. Ryanair Holdings PLC said more than 20 of its aircraft were unable to get back to their home bases on Monday night. While the majority of passengers will still be able to travel, there will unfortunately be some disruption on some routes, including flight cancellations. A spokesperson for London's Heathrow Airport it said it's important for all passengers to check the status of their flight with their airline before traveling to Heathrow. Uh, the meltdown on Monday occurred after the automated flight plan and system was knocked out at the central Swanwick operations room about 100 kilometers southwest of London. Uh, that forced planners to revert to manual input, meaning they couldn't manage the same volumes that and while Matt's gave no cause for the glitch the times reported that issue could have been the result of an incorrectly filed plan by a French airline according to sources that you the new border title it didn't identify uh, Nats manages its systems from Swanwick coordinating the airspace over England and Wales when Swanwick opened nearly five years late in 2002 it was 30% over budget following some software glitches. Its prime contractor was Lockheed Martin Corp. 